Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you like this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing one of the stars of IWC's 2016 Year of the Pilot Watch, what was then the brand new IWC Big Pilots Watch Annual Calendar in steel, reference 5027-02. As ever with the Big Pilot, oversized in the fashion of the 1940s Luftwaffe B or Aviators Watch, then designed to be worn over a flight suit, today to be worn on a broad range of wrists and a broad range of purposes. A timepiece that's big but wearable, it's an impressive 46.2 millimeters across the case, which makes it considerably smaller than the 55 millimeter inspiration. It's also relatively slim for an automatic seven day power reserve annual calendar. 15.6 is the most compact relative dimension of this watch, giving it a handsome and broad flat aspect ratio on the wrist. Lug to lug, every big pilot is, well, big. 56.2 millimeters, it has an impressive wingspan, if you will. I would say that my 16 centimeter circumference wrist is probably the lower limit to wear this watch, short of absurdity. It would look right, sort of, if you're into the big watch look, but ideally this is a watch for a wrist 17 centimeters in circumference or larger. The spacing between the lugs is broad and modern. I appreciate that IWC made the spacing 22 millimeters. That gives the watch a handsome proportional stance. The strap is very substantial. As you can see, sheer sides and thickly cut. A contrasting stitch aviator style with brown calfskin on the underside. You'll note the signal orange of IWC's supplier for up upscale straps, the Italian specialist Santoni. Make no mistake, you can't see the orange when it's on the wrist, but it's a nice reminder when it is not. Supple calfskin on the bottom. It has the feel of a Hermes strap. It is an upscale beautifully appointed, beautifully finished piece, a work of art in its own right. The clasp is all of steel, and as you can see, thoughtfully made, polished on the inside with a combination of polish and satin on its buckle, as well as faceting and beveling. Nicely made and a measure of much needed security while donning or removing this substantial watch on the wrist. The crown, approximately 11 millimeters in diameter in its own right, onion or diamond cut style, as you can see, richly knurled and easily gripped, with wet, sweaty, or gloved hands. It helps the watch to attain a 60 meter water resistance. More on the resistances of this watch in a moment. The dial is the highlight, but the case is not to be undersold. Mostly in satin finish to avoid overpowering with polish. It uses a few polished accents, such as the flared bevel and the lip of the bezel as, as accenting exactly that jewelry, not the suit. You will note the dial all of an anthracite, or as IWC terms it, Ardoise sunburst. A classical aviation-inspired instrument-style calibration with broadsword hands robustly loomed at center, a few well-chosen shocks of red, the power reserve scale and the constant seconds at 3 o'clock, and then an aperture-style annual calendar such that it only needs to be adjusted once per year, the jump from February to March. There is a double quick set system so you can cycle the day and the date by turning the crown in alternate directions once you thread it out. And I mentioned the resistances of this watch. It has a number. 60 meters water resistance, sufficient for swimming, provided you put it on a water resistant band. It also has low pressure protection, which, which is properly explosive blowout protection. If you're in an aviation cockpit that explosively decompresses, the watch will not eject its case back or its dial side crystal, nor will it eject its water resistant seals. Now the timepiece is rather impressively made, externally and internally. Internally you're looking at a monstrous IWC sized and shaped caliber built with oversized sports watches in mind. It is the IWC caliber 52850 automatic 7 day power reserve, uh, two main spring barrels, one of the innovations with this generation of the 50,000 series caliber. You have a twin mainspring barrel rather than single barrel system allowing it to keep time more precisely with a more even torque release from maximum wind to minimum wind. And the bridges have been skeletonized to let you see the mechanism and the coupling gear. It also features a higher beat rate as the old 21,600 vibration per hour, three hertz beat rate has been retired in favor of four hertz, 28.8. Free sprung balance, hacking second, and a handmade overcoil hairspring. The overcoil helping the watch to keep excellent time in any orientation with respect to gravity. And the watch is adjusted in a chronometer-like five positions. 
the free sprung balance, making it tougher and more shock resistant. And of course, IWC's Peloton Paul based winding system, now with full ceramic pawls and pawl wheel operating completely unlubricated, remedying one of the traditional weaknesses of the Peloton system, which was its tendency to create sediment from the remnants of lubrication oils, now completely unlubricated with ceramic. It's both more efficient and cleaner. You can see and you can purchase this grand complication, but not grand complication, on our website, thewatchbox.com. This is a timepiece, admittedly more for the armchair aviator and aviation enthusiast, but with a friendly everyday complication. If you've got the panache to pull it off, this could be your everyday watch in the office. See it and make it yours on the watchbox. IWC Big Pilot's Watch Annual Calendar. As you can see, four corner loom, triangular index at 12 o'clock, and oversized broadswords. See it by day on the watch box.